The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. But if you have these fantasies... Uh, I didn't say I don't have fantasies. I said I never had fantasies about sex fantasies. So maybe he's in, in more In a bed like... with eight different people. Oh, hey, what's your name again? Good to see you. <laughs> what a great fantasy. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, well, I digress. I, I digress. was actually surprised like you at the result because I thought that more adventure fantasies might dominate the landscape like Sex on a Beach or the Mile High Club, you know, things Those are like also that. also common, but for, for people, research shows that if you have a group sex fantasy, about a, over a third of people, it is their favorite fantasy. Really? They really love uh, orgies, group sex, and yes, this study included people as old as uh, 87? 87. Yeah, 87. Yeah. He, he yeah. 4, was a product people. of the 60s and 70s. <laughs> how, guess, how do you know, I, 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 I do want to also ask a serious question, which is, how do you know when your fantasies are problematic or you mentioned couples who watch pornography together because we've also talked on this very stage about how people can become addicted to pornography That's and right. fantasies and it actually inhibits them having a good quality sex life with their partner. This is a great question. I, when I'm treating a couple or an individual with problems with sex, I ask one question. Is this adding to your sex life with your partner or is it taking away? If yes. it's not really your choice to do it, but you That's feel right. forced to do it because you think it's gonna please your partner and it doesn't really float. And a lot of I women, I've treated a lot of women who say, well, I'm not really comfortable with this, and that's not okay, right? I think we all have to ask ourselves, what am I truly okay with? Because a lot of people have the fantasy, but then when they act out on it, they're then not, they, they're not happy with it. They feel guilty, or sometimes, Dr. Travis, the other part I wanna mention to, to any viewer, if you have untreated sexual abuse, that is probably, this is probably not something that you should actually engage in because it can actually be a symptom where you're 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 acting out sexual behaviors but it's about trauma and i think for so many of it's not a bad thing leaving it as a fantasy and that's it yeah you may actually go there and find that wasn't for me yeah so. i also want to acknowledge because this survey did span a wide range i actually love that 87 year olds are still fantasizing and it gets back to fantasies because i also do believe from a purely physical from a physical standpoint, you also have to be careful because you may have a fantasy of some something that if you carried it out in real life, oh, honey, my back! Oh! It, some of these fantasies, they're, they, they're not even realistic. Yeah. And, and that's where it's almost a true dream. Yeah, it's like a daydream. It's a daydream as opposed to, well, this is what I really want because you don't want to hurt yourself. That's right. You don't, you don't want to... You don't want to get yourself in a situation where, how am I going to get down from here? <laughs> that happened to me. Yeah, how, Somebody how do said, you can I tie you up? I went, yeah, okay. Yeah. And then I got tied up and I didn't really, do. I said. You didn't really like it? No, not really. <laughs> in in, in S&M. That's funny. <laughs> I mean, I, I love that, talking you know, about these, sex you, with Dr. You, you talk about these things. <laughs> right? And like you said, you may hit something. Go, oh, did let me ask. That's enough, you. kinky. You're getting tied up, and they're and safe, sane. Did you were you able to get out of it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I had to be let out. Oh, man. I had to be untied. I so you were. <laughs> I was tied up. <laughs> okay, wait, so, Doctor Dow, you started with three things. Oh. Safe. Yes. What were the other things? Sane mm -hmm. and consensual. So mm -hmm. are you okay. consenting to this? Is it, is it safe and does it feel safe for me? Does it feel safe for me? You have to a answer that question for yourself. Comfort zone. Yeah. yeah. And, and there are a lot of other ways to increase adrenaline and dopamine in the brain, which actually helps us to feel turned on. You can have sex in a new position with your partner. You could have yeah. sex on the kitchen table. You could bring some food into the bedroom. There are a lot of ways that are a little bit safer. I'm, I'm seeing some yeses. Some and that's, yeah, I see okay. some nods. Okay, all right, I, I see you in the back row. And that's one of the keys to a, to a lasting monogamous Completely. relationship. Yeah, because is, yes. monogamy sometimes and, and can be tedious, and so introducing some variety, as long as it feels safe and consensual, is A little bit of totally role play, some, yeah. some, some names, I some know what fantasies. I, I will say what works for me is, <laughs> when Dr. Orton's out of the town, um, love to go use his hot tub. <laughs> Sorry, Drew. I didn't get one laugh? <laughs> I'm not, I'm actually, I, I, I'm kidding.
Dr. Dow, I love your insight on all this stuff, always. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me.